Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. Thank you for stopping in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull your tarot card message and see what's coming up here. So angels, spirits, and guides, please show us what's coming up for Aries. First house of the zodiac. Two of Cups is showing with the lovers. Reconciliation, healing, cooperation. Wow, Four of Wands, stability. Okay. The Three of Cups. Shared emotions, fun. We have something here about worry. Maybe you're worried about someone you know. Um, you could feel alienated from people. King of Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A person here who shows a lot of love. There's something about thinking about is something worth it? Investment of time, money, or energy. A tower again. This is so interesting. King of Fire. There's two kings here. There's something happening unexpected or sudden. Wow, your energy is kind of bitter about a situation. There could be something going on where um, you feel entitled or justified by something. Somebody is in a five of wands. People are in a conflict with each other. Ten of cups is what you want. Okay. I feel like there's something where you're, you're thinking somebody brought their own stress. Okay, you're loyal and supportive to someone or someone is giving you an offer unexpectedly and what is the tower here what is the tower the nine of cups okay so nine of cups is emotional satisfaction and wish fulfillment okay so you get your wish in some way because it's coming up as what you're aware of. Now it could be somebody is very content. You're in an energy that is, it could be somebody who hurt you and you're like, well, you know, um, they're going to get what they get. Um, what is five of swords? The wheel so there's something that changes wheel of fortune turns in your favor it looks like why is somebody here in a five of wands why are they in conflict with each other it's over a gift or something to do with money opportunities even Okay, what is this Knight of Pentacles coming towards you as the Aries? Okay, you're getting the truth or new information. So what is this King of Wands in the future? Mature, fire sign, masculine. Okay, there's something here that is about new fire, 
and possibly manipulation or new ideas or problem solving. Okay, problem solving. Why are you feeling a little bitter here about this change? What is this bitter? Oh, wow. I don't think you're bitter. The Six of Wands. This is a victory for you. Unless there's someone who is jealous of you. I don't think you're jealous of someone. If you are jealous of someone over something they're getting that they had to fight for, you feel like um, this person hurt me. They don't deserve it. Like they don't deserve to get this victory. But the Knight of Coin is offering you something coming in slow. Royal. And you get new information that is like a victory with this Ace of Swords. There's an Ace of Coin. And the future is fire leader with solving problems. And here, new energy, re-energized. What is this Knight of Coin truth? What is the outcome? Okay, so the Ace to the Ten to me is always like a new beginning. Something stressful is wrapping up or something is going to be wrapping up. Why is there a Nine of Cups with the Tower? Okay, something that's been on pause, on hold, the hangman, something you've been waiting for. You had no control over it with the hangman. What is the space of coin in the environment? Okay, I got an eight of rods. It's coming in fast or it's happening all at once. What is the space of pentacles? Page of Wands, okay. Aries, Leo, or Sag, somebody's very excited or inspired. What is Aries' energy here? What is their energy towards the situation? The Hermit. There could be a Virgo. Um, there could be you following your own path, pulling away from the situation. You could be offering wisdom to someone. Okay, what is the outcome about here? Okay, it's something to do with work, money, finance, school. You're going to be very satisfied. You're going to be very happy. I think there's something where you're getting some new exciting news. Your energy, though, is feeling justified because somebody did something wrong to you or you feel justified in this energy. I don't think you feel someone else is undeserving. Let's see. What is the page of wands? The page of cups. And what is this energy around Aries? Strength card, water sign, fire sign. Somebody gets a new beginning. <coughs> You're in an energy of victory. What is the king of water here? What is the king of water as the underlying root cause? The emperor. So it could be you showing compassion. It could be a father, father figure. It could be a divine masculine. It could be a person in a position of power, legitimate power, like someone who has a title or something like that. All right. Um, so there's a shocker surprise. There's a solution. There's something in the environment being offered. It's very competitive. People were competing or are competing. There's a struggle. There's, you know, some kind of struggle going on. 
It could have been a court case, you know, with this Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, Knight of Coin. Um, so Aries, your energy is pretty happy, pretty good. The wheel affects your energy. Positive change. Okay, so show us here the outcome. We have Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, Knight of Coin. So I got the Ten of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. Okay, so there's something here about um, feeling left out in the cold, feeling a shortage, and then we have total happiness. Now there could also be something about feeling left out of a group or family. Yeah, Five of Swords is here on the bottom. There's something where you feel betrayed, hurt, or left out of a situation. Um, why is this tower here? It's something you find out about. What is the tower with the Nine of Cups? Eight of Cups. Somebody's deciding to walk away from something. Choosing to walk away. Now, there's pressure or responsibility and choices or choosing to heal a relationship. Ten of Wands is, um, could be moving, somebody moving, um, but it's personal responsibility. Somebody could be moving to, towards you. What is this underlying energy? Okay, let's see. What is the underlying energy? A king and an emperor. King of the water. Okay, we have some kind of return. Six of swords. Somebody is returning to you. Coming back around. Wanting to talk to you. Bottom of the deck. What's around you is a new beginning. A new seed being planted. A new development. Okay, what is Aries energy here? The sun and the moon together. So something is going to be illuminated to you. Um, you will find out something very positive, very optimistic. The moon was, it was kept hidden in the dark. Maybe it was very mysterious or there was something you didn't know. Okay, we are getting here something about defending your money or standing up for yourself and money. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have a Queen of Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a mother or a mother figure. What is around? Okay, interesting. You are getting new information in the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, a new opportunity for something that's real. It could be a document, but it's something relating to money. What's around here? Eight of Swords. This was the, your challenge. Your challenge was the fear of isolation, feeling trapped, the illusion that you're trapped. Some of you are being offered a job or something like that. Six of coin and two of wands. It's being offered something of value and then feeling like you have to do something right away or someone around you feels like they have to do something right away. I'm sorry, it's someone around you, the environment. Someone is being offered something and then they feel like they have to do it right away. Um, there's a fear that is holding, possibly holding you back. So we are getting this eight of pentacles again, something about focusing on work, money, um, what's important, building a legacy. Working on your money and your finance. 
So what is the tower bringing in here for Aries? We know it was... Wow, so weird. Stability, the Emperor, and the Knight of Cups. So there is a water energy coming towards you, someone expressing their feelings. There's the Aries, and we have four of wands. This could be a soulmate. Um, it could be a job that offers you stability in your life. Somebody coming forward, making an offer to you. Bottom of the deck again is eight of wands. Something happening fast, all at once. Um, eight of wands can be messages, um, texting, messages. It could be flights or travel. I mean, it could be, you know, flying through the air. I don't really see that for you, though, Aries. I don't really see you. You're feeling very justified by something that is working out in your favor. Okay, so I'm getting the tower flipping out again. It's coming out with the strength card. So something is a test of someone's strength. There could be a Leo involved as well. Something shocking or surprising, unplanned. Um, not necessarily bad with the Nine of Cups. Wow, bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. Something here that's ending or closing out a cycle. Something stressful is ending here. Um, it's the ending of a period of stress and... So to me, it's like something here is closing out the cycle. You feel justified. You feel like you feel like you're one in some way. Now let's see what we get here for Aries with their magical spell. We have the new beginning card, abundance, and the best possible decision for you. Wow, this is really crazy. This is an amazing energy. This means you're finding your true north. What is the best possible decision for you? There is abundance and there is a new beginning being offered um, to you or around you that will influence you and affect what's going on in your life. Aphrodite's love spell. That means you're attracting something very positive in your life. It means you've attracted it. Like you've manifested this. Friendship. Okay. You could be dealing with a friend. Um, developing a new friend. New friendship. Okay. All right, show us what's happening here for Aries. Give us one. Happy family. This is nice. There's a strategy. And there's a woman holding a coin. Okay. Keep going here. Contract. Okay. This is a nice energy. There's something in a contract. A doorway to spirit. Thinking man. Okay, it looks very legal, but um, the happy family card kind of throws it off.
Okay, we're getting the Angel of Love. The Angel of Strength. We've got many doors are opening for you. Adjacent possibilities. Walking away from something. Okay, so you could be taking this new opportunity that's being given to you. Indecision. Okay, it seems like it's a hard decision for you to make. following your joy third chakra all right i'm gonna leave it here aries thank you for watching and take care